In 2023, the best players in the NBA have all come from foreign countries. Nikola Jokic, Giannis, and Luka Doncic. Some of the greatest players of all time came from countries all over the world. But how different would NBA history look if foreign players weren't allowed to play in the NBA? I compiled a list of the 70 greatest international players that were in the NBA. But in this video, they're staying in their homeland. The very first thing we're going to do is remove Hakeem Olajuwon from the 1984 draft class, so it's just Americans. Now, starting in 1983, there actually are no international players except one player, Rolando Blackman. He is from the country of Panama, so he's out of here. And that significantly impacts the Mavericks as Mark McGuire is their best player, and it's a big gap between him and Brad Davis, who clearly is not international. And then every draft class, whenever there's an international player, boom, he's getting executed, he's getting sent back, deported back to his... This is my least racist video yet. But the thing is, I can make this video because I am international. I really am not, but I'm actually from the country of Yemen. You know, shout out to Yemen. Comment down below, what country are you from, man? I want to see how diverse of an audience do we have. Uh, but yeah, if you're from Yemen or, you know, Middle East, yeah, that's, that's extreme W, you know? So we're going to simulate this video and we're going to start off slow because there's not many international players just yet. You got to realize the NBA wasn't what it is like today back in the day. So like you can make a good amount of money back at home playing for your international team. Like some of the greats like Drazon Petrovic, uh, Arvidas Sabonis, they all played in their home country for a minute before coming to the NBA. But then you have players like Dirk Nowitzki, Hakeem Olajuwon who came straight to the NBA and dominated. But the league without him is gonna look a lot different. So I'm excited to see what's gonna end up happening. As a matter of fact, y'all comment down below. Who, who do you think is the best international player of all time? Me personally, I think it's uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, some might say Dirk, you comment down below, let's have, a, let's have a discussion, let's start a dialogue in the comments. So as expected, Larry Bird wins MVP, he is as white as it gets bro, I think he's from Indiana, yeah Indiana State, see I know ball, no I mean he's literally the epitome of Caucasian bro, it's insane, Ralph Sampson, rookie of the year, Kevin McHale sixth man, and then uh, Moses Malone defensive player, LaSalle Thompson, as most improves okay got our first bot starting the starting the video off right but yeah i'm more so interested in the draft in uh you know in the next 10 years what's going to end up happening without hakeem the dream Olajuwon. but in this first season lakers and celtics surprise surprise and it's going to be the celtics sweeping with larry bird winning finals mvp valid and funny enough the bulls have the first overall pick so they're going to draft jordan anyways and that's what happens he goes first to the bulls the bullets get john stockton Eric Crawford, I don't even know who that is. I don't think he's a real player. Sam Perkins to the Rockets instead of Hakeem. And that right there is the biggest change so far in the video. And we're just getting started. Oh yeah, by the way, I counted Canadian players as international. So Steve Nash, you know, players like that. Now in the 1985 draft class, we have two players that are international. Patrick Ewing is actually from Jamaica. He even has a Jamaican accent. So in real life, the, this draft was rigged for the Knicks to get him, but uh, nope, not anymore. And then our second player that is from another country is actually this guy right here, Detlef Schremp. He is from Germany, six foot 10 shooter. He played for the Sonics, man, he's a G. So definitely two big guys are out and now it's just Carl Malone, Chris Mullen, and Joe Dumars as the only good players from this draft class. I feel like now that Hakeem is not gonna be in it, usually Hakeem cooks up in these videos. He always has a Hall of Fame career but without him it's gonna be easier for Jordan to thrive so Jordan could end up winning like six rings or even more in the simulation you never know obviously in real life Hakeem won two rings the years that Jordan was retired but Jordan's not gonna retire in this video like that so I'm actually curious to see what happens I don't think I've ever done a video where Jordan actually won six rings Magic wins MVP averaging 21 basically 10 and 13 which is that would be a triple double if you round because you know five or more let it soar and then michael jordan rookie of the year putting up 26 points a game yes sir byron scott sixth man ralph sampson defensive player so it's him and sam perkins out in houston uh so yeah that's interesting we're the most improved and then brad nelson's coach of the year 75 and 7 that's the record set you know that's insane but the bulls are not in the playoffs surprisingly you think jordan would lead them there but uh, it might be a repeat of history in real life. We're not, not, not quite yet. Take some time. And it's going to be the Pistons. Hold on. 2-2. Two, two. If it's a game seven, I might jump in. Let's see. Yup, game seven. As a Pistons fan, I'm going to always root for Detroit in these videos. I don't care if, if it's against, you know, the objective. Oh, man. Oh, we're getting cooked. Dang. Okay, Boston. They end up winning by almost 30. Bird had 29. McKill had 25. Game is game. Lakers Celtics rematch, and this time it's the Lakers winning in seven. Magic winning finals MVP 
having a perfect season and Kareem retires. Now Kareem actually, uh, you know, a cool story about him if you didn't know, he converted. He used to be black and then he turned into, well, no, he still is black. Uh, he used to be uh, uh, Lou, Lou a a a a Acklander and then he turned into Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So he went from, you know, black Christian to black Muslim, you know? Nation of Islam. Not, no, not Nation of Islam. That's a whole different... That's Malcolm X and that. He, uh... You know what I'm trying to say, bro. It's been a long day. Give me a break. So with the first overall pick, this time it's the Warriors, and the Bulls somehow had the second overall pick. I don't know how they got back-to-back -back great picks, but let's see who Jordan is going to be teamed up with. It's going to be... That's tough. Wayne... Wayman Tisdale. Not even Joe Dumars and Terry Porter. They got... Wayman Tisdale. I would have been better off with Chris Mullen or even Charles Oakley. But nah, man. Carl Malone is going to Golden State. And in 1986, we have two players. Um, I'm sure you know, you know, it's Arvidus Sabonis. They give him a rough looking picture, dog. He looks like he's in the mafia. Like he's no, he looks like he sells stuff at the gas station, bro. Like straight up. And then we have uh what's his face? Where's he at though? Oh, where's he at? Oh, there he is. Drazen Petrovic out of Croatia. And by the way, uh, by the way, by the way, but I have a Fortnite accent. <laughs> no, by the way, uh, Sabonis, he played in Lithuania. So he's Lithuanian. He actually did a bid out in Lithuania before coming in the NBA. He came in the NBA later on in his career, like kind of past his real prime. So, you know, that there's some ball knowledge right there. But yeah, he's gone, which also means his son, Demontis, won't be in the video because he's uh, Lithuanian. He's related to him. He's actually his sperm. Killed him before he even got a chance. Drake hot sauce method type, type beat. What am I saying? This draft class is so trash, by the way. Brad Darby, Chuck Person. I don't even think Dennis Rodman got drafted in real life. Like, this this class sucks. By the way, shout out to y'all showing love, man. Uh, on, on PSN, you know, Jax, don't pay taxes. I'm a big fan. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. You definitely wanna pay your taxes or else the IRS is gonna come kill you. Uh, but yeah, shout out to y'all, man. Been loving the experiments. Miggity, giggity, Josh Giddy, Quagmire type beat magic back-to-back -back mvps and then Carmelo malone out in golden state putting up 15 and 9 uh michael jordan is defensive player of the year in his second season putting up 30 points a game dog that should be mvp worthy speaking of worthy is all nba first team with magic johnson that's dope you know he played at unc uh you know he actually played with with michael jordan out in college what can i say man i'm a student of the game man and the bulls are the four seed this time so let's see if jordan and wayman tisdale can go all the way this round against uh, the Celtics is huge. Let's see if they can pull it off. Uh, nope. 3-1. And, yep, they win at 5. So it's probably going to be a rematch at the finals. Wait. Lakers back at it. And, yeah, Celtics win at 6. So Lakers, Celtics. And I'm pretty sure the Lakers are going to, yeah, they're going to end up winning it in 5. James Worthy surprisingly wins finals MVP putting up insane stats in game one he dropped 38 then he had 24 and 16 boards uh and then he had 34 points 38 points and finished him off with 34 and 13 he earned it and if you were curious ron harper ends up going first overall in this draft just to give you an idea on how bad it is we got ron harper like a role player for the bulls team back in the day and then brad darby goes second he probably should have went first uh we got this person over here we got Mark Price. Yeah, trash, trash. Now, the 1987 draft class actually doesn't have any international players or any international players worth noting. Uh, it's basically all Americans. You would think Olden Poly Nice is, is their national name. Nope. His parents were just on, on one. Three MVPs in a row for Magic, man. And then Harry Henderson wins Rookie of the Year. He's a bot. He was a second round pick, bro. How does a second round pick win Rookie of the Year, bro? Have some shame. That might be the worst draft class of all time then. And then Carl Malone's Defensive Player of the Year. And then uh, Manute Bowles, Most Improved, okay. This time around, the Pistons are the first seed, man. I want to see them win it all. And this would be the season to do it. Because the Celtics, they're not there. We're up against Philly, up 3-2. And we are in the finals, man. So with a healthy team of Isaiah Thomas, Bill Lambeer, Kelly Trapuka, Otis Thorpe, John Long, the microwave, Vinny Johnson. We have a real shot to win this, man. Game one, we lose it. Uh, hold on. We're not going to get swept, right? All right? We got swept, yeah. We got swept. Yeah, uh, Lakers are on a roll. They are on a roll. And David Robinson goes first to the Sonics. Pippen goes to the Cavaliers. And yeah, that's really it. That's tough because Hakeem Olajuwon would have been a great, you know, rival for David Robinson, but that's not going to happen. 
he might dominate this entire era in this entire video. So for 1988, we have Rick Smits. He is from the Netherlands. Let's see if uh, 2K gets it right um, because that's where he's from. Marist. No, that's not even a <laughs> Marist. No, 2K. That's a typo. I guess they meant Netherlands. Uh, but yeah, he's from the Netherlands and he, he looks like it too. You could just tell. But him being one of the tallest players ever, you know, and he was actually solid with Indiana back in the day, but not anymore. Bro, y'all are hilarious. I saw one of the funniest things on Instagram when you guys sent me. I was just looking back on it. Uh, it's this kid. He, hold on. Focus. He's watching my video. I don't have a single video where you need to be posed up like this, bro. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, Michael Jordan won MVP finally. Uh, 31 points, five reasons, seven assists. Very, very good uh, season right there. Robinson, rookie of the year as expected. And uh, Michael Adams, the second president of the U.S., sixth man of the year. So yeah, Mark Price, most improved player out in Golden State with Karl Malone. He's like John Stockton. He's like an identical clone of John Stockton, you know, same build, color. And the Bulls are the first seed and so are the Blazers, which is interesting. I want to see the Portland Trailblazers with Clyde Drexler, Eric Crawford, and Fat Ass, they are the first seed in the West. So let's see, can they go all the way? We have Chicago up against my Detroit Pistons. And Chicago sweeps my Pistons, god dang. In real life, that didn't happen. And it's the Rockets and Bulls. That's crazy, because the Rockets' best player is Ralph Sampson, but they got Alex English, when did Chris Mullen go here? Hold on. Chris Mullen got drafted to the Rockets. I didn't pay attention. So him, Alex English, who this is his first season here, and Ralph Sampson, that's crazy. And Sam Perkins was a horrible draft pick as he's only an 80 overall. And is this the same Mike Woodson that was the coach for the Knicks? I'm not sure. He looks like it. I'm not sure though. Very interesting what we got going on here. It's 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two Bulls. And we're going to a game seven. I'm hoping it's a close game. The fact that the Rockets might actually beat the Bulls without Hakeem is very interesting. And yeah, it's not even a close game. Yeah, 20 point win. Yo, Dominique Wilkins is on the Bulls. There's no way he averaged 30 this season. Him and Jordan both averaged 30. I didn't even realize that. That's tough. But Ralph Simpson had 20 and everyone cooked up. Hate to see it, man. Michael Jordan still finals MVP. What? The first overall pick in this draft is Ron Sickley. And then Danny Manning. And then Mitch Richmond. Oh, this draft class might be one of the worst as well. Holy. And in 1989, we have two players that need to be removed. That is Vlade Divac out of Serbia. And then Dino Raja out of Croatia. I'm not familiar with this game, but he's gone. Jordan's second MVP is even more impressive. Shooting, yo, 66% from three is insane. Yeah, 34 points is crazy as well. How many threes did he even shoot is the question. He shot a total. Oh, he only shot nine threes. Oh, he shoots like zero. Okay, he barely shoots any. Bad, 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 bad. That makes sense. And then uh, Tr Tr Chris Morris is rookie. Man, who are these bot rookie of the years, dog? Darnell Valentine. Uh, he might be the father of Denzel Valentine. That makes the most sense to me, logically. And then Joseph Kerr. Dude, we are... What? Who? <laughs> Yo... Who, who let him get a, a juice box fade? I guess that was the style back in the 90s, but I mean, still. Well, let's see if Jordan can win his first ring. If he still can't win a ring putting up these numbers, he might be out of hope. Okay, so it's the Suns. Yeah, so he ends up souping the Suns. Jordan wins finals MVP with 36 and nine. Let's just see how each game went. He had 40 and then Dominique had 34. Um, then 37, him and Dominique both had 37. And then... Neek had 42. God dang. Then Jordan had 45. Bro, this is unfair. There's no way they should be playing together. Jesse Anthony goes first. I, this is so stupid. Why isn't Sean Kemp or Tim Hardaway going first? Why is it the bots going first? I don't get it. The 1990 draft has someone that we all know, Tony Kukoc, who's a part of those Bulls teams, the championship teams. He's out of Croatia. Really good shooter at six foot eleven. He's like one of the first tall sharpshooters. Uh, he did he did his thing, man, back in the day. And Jordan wins his third MVP. Look, man, he's I mean, Magic Johnson's been kind of quiet lately. I don't know where he's been, but Jordan's doing his thing. Evan Wright, rookie of the year. I'm getting sick of this, man. Put the foreigners back in because I, that's usually it becomes better. Who is Evan Wright? I know he's a bot because he was a second round draft pick. What's up with these second round picks getting so much love from 2K? What's going on, man? I don't even know. We have knockoff Penny Hardaway winning most improved. And then Benjamin Hardy. This guy needs to go on the Weight Watchers diet ASAP. My fault. I didn't mean to fat shame. That's, that's stupid. But All right, let's see if we can go back to back with Jordan. The goal is to get six rings or even maybe even, even seven with, with MJ. 
I mean, we had the team to do it. We almost lost to the Pacers somehow. James Worthy somehow did that to us. But we're up against the Golden State Warriors. Now, look, we lost a key guy, Muggsy Bogues. We're going to miss his 5-3. Uh, I mean, he really brings nothing to the table when you have Jordan and Dominique and Jeff Ruland. But the Warriors have Karl Malone, Ralph Sampson, which is crazy to think that they got him. I don't know how. Um, the Pervert, and then Horace Grant and Mark Price. Goodness gracious. Oh, my. I don't know if we're going to win. Game one, they take it. They have size and we don't. And they're probably using that size and their girth. And we won it in six. Jordan didn't care. Game one, he had 43. Dominique had 40. Pull up the Kyrie and LeBron meme. That's what it was. Game two, Jordan had 54. Oh, my God. He's a free throw merchant. Oh, hey, thanks to RTL David. Let's see his message. Yo, dude, I like your vids. They're interesting and funny. Keep up the good work. Charge up as always. Much love, bro. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for real. But yeah, no, Jeff Rulin and Jordan getting, you know, 30 free throws combined is insane. Then he had 34, and then he had 44. Uh, then Dominique had 31, and finished it off with Jordan getting 38. N insane stat lines. In the 1990 draft, has Gary Payton going first? That's more like it. Don't know who Chris Carney is. Mahmoud Abdurraouf going to the Clippers. And I don't know anyone else in this draft. Actually, I know Kendall Gill. Fun fact, I used to trick kids back in the day and tell them that Kendall Gill was my dad. I'd be like, no, my dad's in the NBA. Y'all have no idea. And they're like, who? And I picked like the randomest person ever that they wouldn't suspect. I said, Kendall Gill. My dad's not Kendall Gill. And he subscribed. What a be? Shout out to David, bro. 1991 has a couple players we need to get rid of. And those are Dikembe Mutombo out of the Dem Demi Dem Democratic? Democratic Republic of Congo or Dominican Republic of Congo. Democratic, Democratic Republic of Congo, I believe. Uh, he's out. He's from there. And then we have, where's the other guy at? Where you hiding, bro? There he is. Rick Fox. He's from Canada, believe it or not. Hey, man, Jordan is definitely the GOAT. I feel like this is getting closer to reality than in most videos when we start from 1983. So Jordan is fourth MVP. Mahmoud Daroof with the uh, Rookie of the Year. You know, he was Curry before Curry. John Williams, sixth man. David Robinson, defensive player, and then this guy named James is most improved. Damn, look at Lee. That guy's going through it. That guy looks old, bro. Nah, that's tough. All right, can we three-peat with Jordan? Can we have our first three-peat with Michael Jordan? Uh, well, actually, it'd be the second one. I think Magic did it. Bulls and Kings. Bulls still have Dominique, and he's a 95 overall for Jordan at the age of 28. And the Kings have Mitch Richmond, which in real life they did as well. Winston Garland, which is Darius Garland's father. We confirmed it in the last video. And then uh, Herbert Williams. So yeah, they stand no chance, right? It was an easy sweep. Jordan Finals MVP. That's his third. This is going good. And then Steve Smith goes first overall to the Knicks. The Magic get Larry Johnson. Um, and then Dusty Aldridge. I wonder if he's related to David Aldridge, the commentator. I don't know. Trash draft though, for sure. Horrible. L. And to be honest, from the span of 1992 to 1995, there are no international players worth noting that we have to remove. So, yeah, whitewash for the next three years is what it is. And look at this. David Robinson wins his first MVP in 1992. Larry Johnson wins Rookie of the Year in Orlando, meaning they're not going to get Shaq because they're good enough with Larry. Uh, and then Robinson's defensive player. Okay, let's see if they can give Jordan an actual shot. Washington is the first seed in the, in the East, which is interesting because they have Terry Cummings, uh, John Stockton, and Rodney Hunt. Okay, I, I'm surprised with the first seed, man, but let's see. I mean, why are the Bulls a six seed? They end up sweeping that first round. They still have Dominique and Jordan, and they have Tom Chambers, one of the coldest white boys in NBA history. You know, game is game. But let's see if they can go all the way. Um, they are going to the conference finals, and the eight seed Nets are up 3-2, going to a game seven. No way they lost. There is no way. By two points, Bill Lambeer with 23. That's wild. That's really crazy. Nets and Warriors. So the Nets have Clyde Drexler, Danny Manning, and Dano Barros. And the Warriors have that same team, right? So, I mean, I think the Warriors are probably going to win it. Yeah, they win it in six. Karl Malone wins his finals MVP, man. Bad guys always, always win, man. You hate to see it. So that's, that's something new. Oh, man, Malone wins MVP. This is tough. Hate to see it. Shaq, rookie of the year in Houston, by the way. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, does, does that mean that Houston, yeah, Houston is the first seed, but they're stacked. Chris Mullen, 
Barry Rivers, pervert. It's a solid team, bro. For a rookie Shaq, he's around great pieces. Yeah, I'm surprised the Bulls are doing so bad. Jordan's 96. They lost Jeff Rulin with a high ankle sprain. Uh, but no, I mean, that's crazy. I feel like the Rockets are going to be the next dynasty to win like three in a row. Let's see. Bulls losing seven. It's the Bullets with John Stockton against the Rockets. And Shaq is going to win a, a, a chip as a rookie. And we got Finals MVP going to Chris Mullen. This got to be like his third MVP for David Robinson. So that, that's dope. Chris Weber, Rookie of the Year in Philly. Love that for him. And uh, Cedric Sabalos. That's a dope name. CC. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it's a, yeah. Yeah. Carl Malone. Ruptured right Achilles. Yes, sir. Love that for him. Okay, well, I want to see Jordan win more than three rings. I'm really rooting for him. I just want to see NBA history be still close. There we go. Okay, Lakers and Bulls. Yeah, Lakers have been kind of quiet. We're all healthy. We got Sean Bradley, 7-6. And then Lakers with a 34-year-old Magic Johnson, Dennis Scott, Billy Owens. It's crazy when he doesn't have superstar teammates. He hasn't been in the playoffs or really been making any, any noise. So that's that, that's that that says something about him and his legacy. I'm just saying. Is he is he a fraud? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, he's he needs good players around him. That's what his game is based around. But hold on, hold on now. Three, two, we win in six. Jordan with his fourth NBA championship, bro. We're on pace to win six or even more. All right, we got five MVPs with Jordan. I'm not sure how many he won in real life. I think it was I think it was five six MVPs in real life for Jordan. It's either five or six. But regardless, bro, we're almost recreating history identical, which is dope. I love that, man. Uh, but can the Bulls do it again? Can we win number five? Uh, no. Wait. Uh, wait. Atlanta is up. Okay, they beat us in five. Rockets and Hawks. Who the Hawks have? Oh, Sean Kemp, Reggie Lewis, and Jordan Temple. Interesting. Yeah, I got the Rockets winning it. Oh, the Hawks win it. What? I'm sorry, Sean Kemp. I was not familiar with your game. Now, he's someone that gets overlooked a lot. Back in the day, he was a beast. But yeah, I guess with no Hakeem, he was able to cook up. I mean, he's in the East. That's not really making sense, but you get what I'm trying to say. Now, the 1996 draft have three players we're getting rid of and three actually solid players. The first player is going to be Peja Stojakovic, one of the best shooters in NBA history. He's from Serbia. Then we have Steve Nash. He's from Canada, as you guys may know. And then Zydrunas Ilgauskas, he is from Lithuania. So these three guys are gone. But that still makes it a stat class with Allen Iverson, Kobe, Sharif, Ray Allen. But is it still the greatest draft class of all time? I don't know. It might be up there with uh, 2003 now. They might be tied. I find it very surprising that in 1996, Jason Kidd wins MVP with 17 and 8. Very, very surprising. KG Rookie of the Year in Utah. Kelbert Chaney in Minnesota. Okay, man, this is weak, bro. We need some. We need some diversity. I, yeah, I mean the NBA is it's way better with international players in here, bro. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. But it looks like Chicago's out of here. No more chips for Jordan. I feel like his prime is about to be over. Kings and Hawks, and it's gonna be the Kings winning it with Jason Kidd. Very interesting, man. But this draft has Kobe going first to the Memphis Grizzlies. Allen Iverson to Indiana. Ray Allen to Portland, Stefan Marbury to Milwaukee, Sharif to the Lakers. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, without Steve Nash, Peja, or Zydrunas, it's, it's not the same. I don't mean it. I'm just talking. I, it's really not that much of a difference, to be honest. Now, I was going to put Tim Duncan on this list, but I don't think anyone considers him as an international player. I know he's from uh, Wake Forest, but he's from like one of those islands. Uh, I don't even, the Virgin Islands. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say a joke about something, but I was like, nah, it's just, it's not even appropriate. Yeah, okay, buddy. I know Jason Kidd was nice, but I don't think he was that nice. Back-to-back -back MVPs? I don't think so, bucko. Man, 2K is glazing him hard. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, NBA is, is washed. This is like the most boring era of basketball, 1997 to 2002. That's a crazy hot take, but I mean, it is. It really is. 76ers win it with Chris Webber. But for the 1998 draft, we have one of, if not maybe the greatest international player ever. Dirk Nowitzki, man. This guy right here is a legend and the NBA without him. You know, he's one of the best power forwards ever. He's not going to be in those debates anymore. So yeah, it's very interesting. He's gone though. So it's Vince Carter, Antoine Jameson, and Mike Bibby and Paul Pierce. Hey man, so look, Chris Webber is starting to, you know, become one of those guys. You know, MVP, he just won a championship the year before. The thing is, yeah, he is actually one of the best power forwards of all time. If he didn't like... I mean, he, he played with the Kings, he played with the Warriors, 
the whole Michigan thing, and he played Michigan, the Fat Five, that was a great time. But it's interesting because he's kind of been overshadowed by other big guys, but now he's getting that shine because they're gone. So, yeah, I, that was a whole lot of yapping to nothing, to be honest. But yeah, in that first round, he gets swept anyway by the, by the Magic. They sweep him 3 0. And uh, we have, let's go, Cavaliers and Spurs. Interesting. That's something new. Now, the Cavaliers have Scottie Pippen. That's right. I forgot about that. He's the leader of this team with Tim Hardaway and Jerry Stackhouse. So. Let's see how, what he could do without Jordan. And then the Spurs have Glenn Robinson, Dale Willis. Never heard of Dale. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Never heard of him. I know Nick Anderson. He's a good shooter. But I don't think this team's going to the finals. No way. Very interesting. The West is weak then, I guess. And it goes to seven. The Cavs win it. Hardaway being finals MVP. Very interesting. I feel like I've said very interesting a billion times. I feel like an NPC now. But we have Dominique retiring. Isaiah Thomas finally retires. Ralph Sampson yeah larry bird has been yo what happened to larry bird he's been silent yeah i think he retired a long time ago i think i'm an idiot and i wasn't paying attention magic is still playing though at age 38 with the lakers he's still in 85 overall which is that's respect but yeah jordan's chance to win six rings is basically over like there's no shot of that happening uh he won four which is solid and now this 1998 draft antoine jameson goes to the raptors instead of vince which is wild Vince goes to New York, and then Paul Pierce goes to Detroit. And there's no way a 5'5 Earl Boykins gets drafted 7th overall. That's got to be the greatest thing in NBA history. Being 5'5 and being a lottery pick is insane. In the 1990 draft, 1999 draft, I should say, we have Andre Kirilenko and Manu Ginobili as the two foreign players. Kirilenko is actually out of Russia, man. You know, I wonder if he's boys with Putin, man. Real talk, like, to this day, if they communicate. I mean, he's probably, this is probably the best basketball player out of Russia, right? Kirilenko, I mean, you name someone better. Uh, and then Manu Ginobili's out of Argentina, of course. So no more six man and no more AK-47. Okay, 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 Jason. Let's let's be real, bro. 27 and nine is solid. In real life, was he averaging 27 and nine? I don't think so, bro. I think 2K is overhyping Jason Kidd. He, or, or in, in, in a crazy alternative timeline, I don't know ball and I don't know that Jason Kidd is one of the best point guards ever. That's, I think the first one is more true. I don't think he was that good to where he should win three MVPs. Let's, let's be real. I mean, I mean, come on, bro. I mean, this is ridiculous. Vince Carter, Rookie of the Year. Yes, sir. Um, OJ McMillan. What? What even is that, man? Dave Robinson is still kicking it. He's been consistent. I will say that, but he has no real competition. Shaq's been kind of quiet. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, he is all NBA second team at a 95 overall in Houston. Uh, and then Kobe, 92 overall in Memphis. Okay. But I mean, they're not going in the finals. I don't care about regular season success. I wanna see history, bro. I wanna see who goes to the, you know, the finals. And it looks like this season, it's gonna be Chris Webber in Philly up against the Kings. I'm rooting for Chris Webber. Gary Payton, he's gonna be out for the finals, basically. So let's see if the Kings are gonna sweep him. Jason Kidd. This is insane, bro. Nah, this is nuts. He has two chips and three MVPs. I don't, I think he just has one ring with the Mavericks in real life. And then I don't think he has an MVP. So this is insane. And then Magic Johnson finally retires with a total of five championships and three MVPs. So he did his thing. And with the first overall pick, the Magic have Steve Francis now to team up with Larry Johnson. Uh, the Pistons have Baron Davis with Paul Pierce and then Andre Miller. Uh, with, with, I guess, Jordan. I watched Jordan now at this point. So in one of the weakest draft classes ever where Kenny Martin went first, we have Hidu Chirkulu. You won't believe what country he's from. Turkey, you know, it's a great country. And Hidu Chirkulu is actually a G. I was watching one of his podcast clips, man. He's a G. One of the, he's a good player. He played for the Magic back in the day with Dwight and them. But yeah, he's out of here. And starting the 2000, basically going into the year 2000, Chris Webber is the best player in the NBA, which is very interesting. He's, him and Kevin Garnett, the best power forwards, and then David Robinson and Shaq, uh, the best centers, Jason Kidd being the best point guard, Kobe, Iverson, Gary Payton, Starberry. Definitely missing some ethnicity, man, but I mean, this is still a solid list of players here. I'm just surprised that J Kidd is doing so well. Okay, a new face, Kevin Garnett winning MVP. He did win it, I think, around this time, so that's valid. 21 and 10, you know, he might be top three power forward, right? Uh, I would say. Baron Davis from my Pistons wins rookie of the year. Herbert Baldwin. Come on, man. <laughs> like, bro, what? So now it looks like this. Stephon Marbury, Allen Iverson, Kevin, Tim, and Shaq are all NBA first team valid. Tim Duncan got good quick with the Warriors. Uh, and then I wonder, is Carmelo still on that Warriors team? No, 
No, he's not. Mitch Richmond is though. So it's Atlanta and Utah as the first seeds of their respected, respective conferences. You know, whenever I see tests that say, like in math tests, like with like respective or, or with respect to X or with respect to Y, it's like, I have no respect for it. I hate math. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so we have Indiana against the Pacers. I guess I said Indiana against, the, I need some sleep, bro. <laughs> the Hawks go, and then it's gonna be Rockets or Kings. Damn, okay. So Hawks are really underwhelming, bro. Eddie Jones being their best player, this is insane. There's no way this team is in the finals. And the fact that it's just Jason Kidd and the rest of the team is trash, it's crazy that these two teams are about to win it all. And the Hawks sweep them, which is even crazier. And Jason Kidd wins finals MVP. This don't make no damn sense. Like who, I mean, Kurt Thomas, man. He's the, he had 19. And then who's this? Taylor Cooper, a bot. Like, what are we doing, man? This is what happens when you get rid of foreign players. Bunch of nonsense happens. So now going into the 2000s, into this new decade of basketball, and you know, it's way more common for international players to go to the NBA. So, you, so the next 30 years, basically, there's gonna be a lot more players. So we have Paul Gasol, obviously out of Spain. We have, uh, who else? There's a couple more players. Tony Parker out of France. And then the last player is who? I guess that's it. But I mean, Paul Gasol and Tony Parker, obviously legends, Hall of Famers, so. Big blow to this draft class. Now, an update in terms of the league, Michael Jordan has broke the record for most points in a career with 34,000, and Dominique is fourth, and Magic Johnson is right behind him at fifth, but he's out of here, and so is Dominique. So Jordan can keep running it up as he's still in the league. And most assist is Magic Johnson with 14,000, crushing John Stockton's record in real life, and then Isaiah Thomas is second. Now, Jordan is an 82 overall at age 37, so yeah, his, his prime is way behind him at this point. But KG has taken the throw as the best player and Kobe right behind him. And Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan probably was dunking as he won MVP this season with 24 and 12. Uh, that's dope, man. He didn't shoot a single three. He knows his role. Kenny Martin wins rookie of the year with the Pistons. So Pistons, bro, we have, yo, how are the Pistons doing? I, I gotta see. I gotta see something, man. We're the fifth seed in the East. Look at that. 87 overall, Paul Pierce. 86, Barron. We got Lawrence Frazier at 85. Terry Mills at 84. We got, bro, we have a good team. We should actually be going all the way. That's my expectation this season. The Rockets have been very underwhelming with Shaq. You would think Shaq would be dominating, but no. Uh, did I speak too soon? Let's see. Yeah, Sonics are going to the finals this time. Now the Sonics with David Robinson, he's been having, I mean, he's still 94 overall at age 35. You could say he's had the best, most consistent career. It's, it's, it's very fair to say that. Um, and then Abdul Raouf, he's killing it too. Six-time All-Star, he's putting up you know, almost 20 points a game. Yeah, he was in his prime, 20 points a game, which is insane. And we got Christian Leitner out of Duke. So, and he's putting up 15 points a game. This is dope. Yeah, I want to see the Sonics win it. D-Rob, they lost in seven. Kurt Thomas, dog, who do you think you are? This is insane. Is Kurt Thomas a 2K developer? Did he, is, is this like a glitch in the matrix? I don't know. And Gilbert Arenas goes first to the Orlando Magic. I think in real life, Gilbert fell down to like the second round because of his off-court behavior. But in this, and this is how it should have went. He should be like a first overall pick, man. He's a beast. Now for 2002, I'm sure you already guessed it. Yao Ming from China. You know, obviously the first overall pick of this draft. He is no longer going to be here. Uh, you know, 7'6", tallest player, or one of one of the tallest players ever. And then we have Luis Scola. I believe he's from Brazil or Argentina. No, he's from Argentina. So he's going to be out of here. He played with the Rockets. He was solid. And then Nene, he's from Brazil. Now, one thing I didn't know about Nene is that he's six foot two and he's a listed at power forward center. So I'm gonna assume it's a glitch. Let me see. Yup, Nene is indeed six foot 11. So 2K with one of the craziest uh, typos ever. Yeah, Nene is not six two, but it doesn't matter cause he's gone. The only time you'll see a six two power forward is like high school basketball. Okay, so we need to investigate why 2K loves the Hawks in every era. Like this is ridiculous, bro. You mean to tell me that Cecil Marion Rashard Lewis, Isaiah Ryder, and Kurt Thomas are, are taking the lead by storm and going to the finals every year, being a first seed every year. What happened to Kobe, bro? How are the best players doing? Kevin Garnett, he's been quiet. Kobe, what happened to him? T-Mac hasn't been to a finals. All these guys are doing decent individually, but their teams are just not getting the job done. Very interesting how that, how that happens. I gotta stop saying very interesting. But it looks like we have... The Pistons almost went, man. It's gonna be Pacers and Spurs. Now the Pacers have Allen Iverson and Chauncey Billups who played together in Denver back in like 08, but now they're in Indiana with Jalen Rose and Jonathan Sweetney. And then the Spurs, I don't even know who they have. 
but they're up 2-1 and 3-2 yeah Pacers winning in six shout out to Iverson winning his first chip and without Yao Ming we have Omari Stoudemire going first to the Magic they got back-to-back -back first first overall picks so he's gonna be with Gilbert Arenas so that's actually a fire duo right there and then Jay Williams, uh, in this simulation, he doesn't get into a motorcycle accident. They gave him Walking Bucket as his build name. Okay, that's insane glazing, bro. Walking Bucket? Like, be real, bro, really? And now we enter 2003, or the 2000s, the Kobe era, where Kobe's been, like, very, very quiet. But this draft class is, might be the best of all time. Now we have three foreign players, those being... Let's go all the way down here and find them. Uh, yeah, Darko does count, so... In this simulation, there's no chance the Pistons mess this up. We have Leonardo Barbosa. I believe he's from Brazil. And the two other players are Jose Calderon and Boris Diaw. But for some reason, they don't have him in here. I don't know why not. It's just weird. They're actually like good enough players to be in, in the game. I'm surprised they don't have him. By the way, Tim Duncan has won his third MVP so far in the year 2003. So he's definitely taken the crown so far as the best power forward uh, of this era. You know, Chris Webber and him are probably tied right now as the greatest ever. So... Just keep that in mind, and Chris Webber's Defensive Player of the Year, so he's still doing his thing, putting up 25 points his entire career. He is crushing it. Definitely one of the best players in NBA history, in this video at least. So yeah, I mean, no Dirk, no real competition there. Pistons are the first seed in the East. I like what I'm seeing. Can they go all the way? Okay, hold on. Against the Knicks, yes. Pistons and Rockets. Oh no, okay, so look, Paul Pierce, he's out for the season. Uh, we have Kenyon Marston at 90 overall and Barron at 90. That's dope to see that they're both 90 overalls. And the Rockets have Shaq, but that's it. The rest of the team is not that good. So I think the Pistons can win it. And we're in the year of 2003. So not far off from real life. Uh, let me, I, 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 I got, got ahead of myself. Rockets won it in five. Never mind. Shaq wins finals MVP. Is that his first chip? It is not. It's his second chip. A 10 year gap between chips is kind of wild. He won as a rookie, I forgot. And Jordan finally retires as a New York Knick. 19 years pro, he won four chips, five MVPs, and 16 All-Stars. Very close to reality, I'm not gonna lie. It's not bad at all. You know, leading scorer in NBA history. Carmelo retires with only one ring and one MVP. And now it's time to see who will get LeBron, the Toronto Raptors most likely, unless they mess up. They didn't mess up. So the Raptors get LeBron James, and then Carmelo goes to Cleveland instead, Dwayne Wade stays at home in Chicago, and yeah, that's really it. Oh yeah, Chris Bosh goes 10th, then he fell far to Phoenix. Now for the 2004 draft, we have Luel Deng. He's actually from South Sudan. He's one of the biggest finessers in NBA history with the Lakers back in the day. But yeah, he, he was a pivotal part of that Bulls team with uh, Derrick Rose that, you know, did their thing. But nope. Not no more. He's very underrated, man. He's one of those players that you kind of forget about, but his, his two-way game was very impressive. Outside of the, that, the draft class is just Dwight Howard. Oh, I missed one. We got Binu Udri, Udre, out of Slovenia. So almost forgot about him. I feel like Slovenia's produced a lot of good NBA players, like Luka Doncic. Oh man, Carmelo wins rookie of the year instead of LeBron. I remember in real life, I don't remember. I actually wasn't, I was like one year old, but they say that Carmelo got robbed of rookie of the year in real life. So I guess it's reparations, you, you could say. I don't think I used the word reparations correctly in, in that. I don't think that was a good time to use it. But I mean, LeBron only in 83 overall, he didn't, I mean, what did he do this season? Did he actually perform good? Uh, Yeah, 20 points a game solid. They got Jermaine O'Neal, Antoine Jameson, eh, decent. Okay. Rockets and Pistons once again as the first seeds. I want to see Detroit win it in 04, just like in real life. Hold on. 3 2, 3 3. Yes. Okay. We can beat the Pacers. Oh, game seven. Game seven. Damn. The Pacers, they beat us. That's tough. Chauncey Billups beating the Pistons in 04 is crazy, but game is game. Rockets and Pacers. Let's see if Allen Iverson can win his second. No. It's going to be. A game seven. So it's Shaq versus Iverson and Chauncey Billups playing in Houston. Can Shaq win his third ring? I don't think so. Yeah, it's not a close enough game to hop in. And uh, Iverson dropped 39. He definitely earned it. And he gets finals MVP, his second chip. Kobe has been silent, by the way. It's, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> wake, wake up, bro. Somehow Dwight goes second behind Mecca Okafor. Okay. But yeah, Dwayne goes to the San Antonio. 2005, the first overall pick was surprisingly not Chris Paul. 
it was this guy right here, Andrew Bogut out of Australia. He was the first overall pick in real life to the Milwaukee Bucks, but nope, not anymore. And then Marcin Gortat out of Poland. Uh, these two guys are gone. Wow, that's a shocker. I have, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, before I saw the name, I was like, no way I bought one MVP. But Sharif Abdurrahim, the president of the NBA G League currently, fun fact for you, he's the MVP. I love that for him, man. Dude, and, and he's not, you would think he's like from a Middle Eastern country. No, I think I think he's not. But I mean, yo, I was not paying attention. He's been crushing it every season. He's putting up MVP numbers consistently. So yeah, he earned it for sure. Winning the MVP for Kobe is crazy. Dwight wins rookie of the year in San Antonio. Donald Glover wins sixth man of the year. Duncan defensive player. Fred Ellis most improved. Okay, buddy. But we have Gilbert All NBA first team with T Mac, Sharif, Kevin, and Dwight as a rookie. It's crazy. That means Shaq didn't win. Yeah, Shaq was an All NBA. That's weird. We got Bryant Reeves and Art Landry winning it. Or getting in there it's weird the spurs are the first seed by the way so they have bobby simmons james posey glenn robinson kyle moore and dwight they're a first seed in the west let's see who let's see how, how this pans out man I'm, I'm just mad that i haven't seen any like star players really do their thing okay bucks against the spurs who the bucks have to find marbury and jamal mashburn and jason terry okay that's that's something new I bet. And game seven, we gotta hop in. I want it to be a close game because I have not got any gameplay at all in this video. Usually I want some, but every game's been a blowout. And this game also is not close enough to jump in. Nine point win for the Bucks. Stefan Marbury dropped 43. Damn. So Starberry wins his first chip, finals MVP. And instead of Bogut going first overall, it's Chris Paul in this simulation going to the Celtics. The Celtics have Zach Randolph, so they got Zebo. Steve Sims, no way that's a real person. He's 5'9 in the NBA is crazy. 5'9 and white, I should say, is even crazier. This 2006 draft class, Andrea Bargnani, he's from Italy. I'm surprised I missed out on him, but yeah, he is, uh, I believe, the only international player, so get rid of him. He was actually the first overall pick as well. So 2002, they had Yao Ming, international player. 2005, Bogey, 2006, Bargnani, like now is when the international stuff really starts to hit and make a difference. My boy Gilbert winning MVP with 34 and 10. Okay, Chris Paul, rookie of the year. And Shaq, defensive player. He's been a hit or miss player, man. He's, he, I feel like he has way more potential to be a lot better. You I mean, he's been on good teams. Okay, so now it's the Magic is the first seed and then Golden State. That's what I want to see. Magic with Gilbert and Amari Stoudemire. What'd I say? This young duo is dominating. Amari with 21 and 7 this season. And the Warriors with Tim Duncan, Corey Maggot, and then Nick Van Exel. They could do some damage. So uh, every other team, irrelevant. How are the Memphis Grizzlies doing? Fifth seed? Yeah, they have Kobe still, right? Yeah, Kobe dropped 35. He beat Dwight Howard. I'm sure that was a huge victory for him. But against the Warriors, he got 4-1. Uh, so it's going to probably be... Yup, Warriors and the Magic end up losing to the Cavs in seven. Carmelo dropped 39, so Melo goes to the finals before LeBron. He actually beat, Carmelo actually beat LeBron in the, in the round prior, funny enough. So let's see if Tim Duncan can win a ring, or is it going to be Carmelo? Hold on, 2-1, two, 2-2, two, two, and we're going to a game seven. So if Carmelo wins a ring, that would be like the sixth or seventh like player that didn't win a ring in real life to win it in this simulation. And yeah, that fourth quarter, they ran away with it, man. <laughs> Carmelo had 21, but this dude, Darren Hammond, is the bot, ends up being the guy that gets triple-double, basically. But Melo still wins finals MVP. And in 2006, Brandon Roy is the first overall pick to the Nets. Hopefully, he stays healthy. Now, 2007, the KD draft, we have four players. We have Al Horford. I believe he is from, uh, he's from one of those islands. I could probably find it. I have a whole spreadsheet. He is from Dominican Republic. So yeah, he's from the DR. We have Joakim Noah, who is from, uh, back to the spreadsheet we go. He is from France. Yep, Joakim, jo Joakim. Definitely, that makes sense, Joakim Noah. And then we have Yi, I mean, you wouldn't believe where he's from, <laughs> type beat. And then we have a couple other players by the names of Tiago Splitter. He is from Brazil. And then Rudy Fernandez from Spain. And how can I forget Mark Gasol? Yeah, Mark Gasol, probably the best player in this draft class or out of uh, the international guys, you know, from Spain. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. That's how you know this video's had an impact, man. We have Sharif getting the love he deserves, man. Usually this would be Dirk Nowitzki. No, man. It's Sharif Abdurrahim with the second MVP. Brandon Woy, rookie of the year. Jameer Nelson, sixth man. Tim Duncan, defensive player. I like that, man. 
Okay, Chicago is the first seed. Let's see how Chicago is looking. Dwayne Wade and Joe Johnson and Katino Mobley and Bonzi Wells, whole lot of shooting guards. They're doing their thing. So I wonder if Dwayne Wade can win a ring. Meanwhile, Toronto is not in the playoffs. So LeBron is, I don't know what's going on over there in Canada. And the Warriors win it all. Tim Duncan, that's his first championship, third MVP. Well, he, I mean, he already had three MVPs, but it's his first championship. So yeah, he's actually kind of far behind in regards to other power forwards and their ring count, like Chris Webber. And Kevin Durant lands in Charlotte. Yeah, he's not gonna last there very long. Uh, I could see him joining uh, Tim Duncan and the Warriors soon. But we got Barry Duncan. What, man, what, how is he going second over Nick Young, Greg Oden? I guess, I guess, okay, I guess, yeah, this draft class isn't too good. All the foreign players really made this draft class good. Now they're gone. 2008. Oh, so Boris Diaw ended up getting drafted in 2008, not in 03. I don't know why I saw that. Uh, I guess it was one of those things where he was drafted in 03, but didn't come to America until 2008. I don't know. But anyway, we have a lot of foreign players. Him from, I believe, France. Yeah, he's from France. Danilo's from Italy. Yep. Uh, we got Ibaka from Republic of Congo. Yeah, Congo. And who else? Who else? Omar Asik, he's from Turkey. And then Goran Dragic from Slovenia. You can see, man, the international players coming in, they're flooding. And just an update on how the league is looking. KG has been the best player basically the entire time during his career. Only two MVPs though, 12 time All-Star. So his entire career has been All-Star. But his stats aren't anything too crazy, like it's solid. LeBron James is uh, right behind him. His stats improved, but Toronto didn't make the playoffs last year. Kobe, bro, he's been loyal to this team, putting up crazy numbers, but no MVPs, no awards. Three MVPs, brother. Oh my God. 25, 10, and 5. Sharif Abdurrahim, man, getting the love he deserves. Durant, rookie of the year. Uh, Maggot, sixth man of the year. As you guys may know, uh, you know, Maggot, man. That's all I gotta say. If you actually watch the videos, man, you know. And Perkins, most improved player. Okay, Perk. Okay. <laughs> What a pathetic ass stat line, man. Now the Raptors just barely made the playoffs. So LeBron just barely got in there, you know, in, in 2008. Lakers is the first seed in the East or West. We Sharif, man. Sharif is missing a, a, a championship. He's got three MVPs, but he's missing a championship. And that could put him as one of the best power forwards ever. I mean, he's got the MVPs for it. So can he beat the Spurs? Yes. Now this is a real matchup against Tim Duncan and the Warriors. 3-2. It's going to a game seven. I'm going to hop in this one. The Bulls beat the Pistons, unfortunately. But I want to see Battle of the Power Forwards in LA. Who's going to get the job done? And it looks like it's a close one. Nah, it's not. <laughs> the Warriors win. Paul Pierce helping Tim Duncan go to the finals. And they will eventually, uh, oh, lose to the Bulls in five. Shout out to D-Wade. Bet. So D-Wade and Carmelo both winning rings early on in their careers. LeBron's got to catch up. Oh yeah, by the way, that 37,000 points that Jordan set, I don't see anyone be, uh, crossing in this video. I don't think anyone's going to come close, to be honest. But the first overall pick, Derrick Rose goes to the Dallas Mavericks, Westbrook going to the Blazers, and Kevin Love still landing in Minnesota. That's dope. 2009, we have two players. We have Ricky Rubio out of Spain, getting him out of here. You know, he actually just retired, man. You know, shout out to him. Great career international. He was like, a pro since 14 years old in Spain, which is insane. I don't think he even came to the Americas until like 2012, like three years after he got drafted. So he's out of there. And then the second player we're getting rid of is uh, Joe Ingles from Australia. And the third player we're getting rid of is Patrick Mills from, uh, I believe he's also from Australia. Get the fuck out of here, 2K. Kenyon Martin winning MVP in 2009. Are you in, in the same league with LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Garnett, Chris Paul? Really? 29 and four? Shout out to Kenny Martin, bro. Game is game. And Westbrook winning Rookie of the Year. Okay. My guy Steve Sims, the 5'9 player himself, winning Sixth Man of the Year in Boston. What a time to be alive, man. What a time to be alive. So my Pistons should win it, right? I don't think we've won a single ring in this video, which is pathetic. Uh, and it's going to continue. Okay, nice. So we have Spurs and Bulls. So Dwight Howard versus Dwayne Wade. Battle of the Fruits. <laughs> it's a fruit salad out there. Uh... In his game seven. I'm not gonna lie, I could see D Wade winning his second ring. I could see him going back to back, man. And we have a game, right? Yeah, let me hop in. Spurs are up by one. Dwayne Wade with the ball, pulling up for three, and he drains it. More going in the paint. I don't see Dwight Howard. 
Uh, I don't see Dwight Howard at all, actually. Wait a minute. Is he even on the team? No. He might be injured or he's just not on the team. Wade getting double team kick out in the corner to Bennett. I'm not sure who that is. In and out. They got the read with Kurt Thomas, bro. Kurt Thomas is still in the league, man. Doing his thing. Respect. Dwayne Wade pulling up. Midi. No, he missed it. We got more attacking. Pass out to Mullen. I don't know why he passed it. Is that Aaron Brooks? Yeah, giving it back to Moore. Seven seconds left in the shot clock. Time is winding down. Moore pulling up. No, sir. I have a feeling that Dwayne Wade's going to get a game winner. What a pass to Sidney Sweeney. Will the Spurs take the lead back? We got more attacking and missing the layup. He blew it. Free throw line time. I think the Bulls should secure the win right there. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. He missed both free throws. There is no way that this happened. Hold on. I guess he missed both free throws. Wade medium jump shot was blocked. Oh, I guess it was, it wasn't, ah, uh, they weren't in the bonus. Okay, so Wade took a shot for some reason, missed it, and then Posey hit a three-point shot, and, and, and they won. Yeah, that caught me off guard. I didn't expect that to happen. That's on me. I should have showed it. And that's how the Spurs win it, with James Posey getting 34 points. Wow. Uh, Dwight Howard is on the team. Okay, he did get injured then, but he win final, wins finals MVP, so he wins a ring. Curry goes first to the Wizards. Blake Griffin teams up with LeBron in Toronto, and Harden teams up with Westbrook in Portland. Now, 2010 is a pretty whitewashed draft with no foreign players worth mentioning, so there's that. There we go. d -way wins his MVP. Curry wins Rookie of the Year in DC. Steve Sims doing his thing as sixth man. That's insane. Six man not being six foot is uh, sensational. And LeBron, Defensive Player of the Year, man. I'm surprised that he's not winning MVPs. He's kind of, you would think with the lack of competition, you know, some players being out of the, of the league, he'd do amazing. But no, like Dirk was LeBron's biggest nightmare back in 2012. And uh, somehow the Raptors are not in the playoffs again. I mean, he put up 23 and eight. I mean, they got Blake Griffin who put up only 12, ew. But I got to see my Pistons win it, man. Detroit's been the first seed so many times, and we have not got the job done, and once again, we get eliminated. Suns and Hawks, who do the Suns even have? They have Chris Bosh, the 10th overall pick, OJ White, and JJ Red Dick, so they got Red, White, Bosh. I can see him winning the whole thing. Wow, Hawks win four straight. <laughs> Jason Richardson wins finals MVP. Atlanta in 2K. I don't know what, what the deal is, man. This entire video. Oh, Shaq retires with Detroit. Shaq had the most underwhelming career. Only two championships in 18 seasons. He won it in his rookie season and in 2003. Very unfortunate career for him. I thought he would do amazing, but no. You would think with no Hakeem, he'd crush it, but no. And Jason Kidd, who surprised me with his career, man. He stayed with Sacramento the entire time. Yeah, respect to him, but yeah, he surprised me. Three MVPs, a couple chips. And in 2010, Paul George lands to the Clippers in the draft. Cousins goes to the Heat, Gordon Hayward to the Mavericks. All right, not bad. And then John Wall goes fifth to the Nuggets. So 2011, we do have some uh, foreign players with Tristan Thompson being from Canada, Jonas Valanciunas from Lithuania, uh, and then we have a couple others. Bismack Biyombo out of the Congo. Vucevic, is, is, he's not from USC. He is from, according to my calculations, he is from Montenegro. Montenegro is a country that Nikola Vucevic is from, so he's foreign. And then one more player, Bojan Bogdanovic. He's from Croatia. And he's with the Pistons in real life right now on the worst team ever. So, I mean, he's a good shooter. But I did not know that Vucevic was from Montenegro. I wouldn't have thought. To be honest, I don't know where that is in the map. I don't know if that's in Africa. I'm not saying that because it has... That's actually exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying that because it has Negro in in the last part of that country, Nigeria, you just think, I'm gonna just stop while I'm ahead. By the way, we're starting 2010, right? Uh, you're not gonna believe it, but Chris Paul is the highest rated player in the league. At, standing at six feet tall, he is taking the league by storm. He put up 28 and 11 last season, which is crazy. LeBron is second behind him. KG still doing his thing at age 34. Carmelo, Kobe, Durant's getting up there pretty quick. Usual suspects. Dude, I'm so shocked that the Raptors are still not in the playoffs. Like, how is LeBron letting this slide? Like, he's eight years into his career, not one playoff appearance. Have some shame, LeBron. It's going to be Dwayne Wade and the Bulls up against the Suns. And Dwayne Wade winning his second ring. And he has two or three MVPs now. I and mean, he's crushing it, bro. He's doing better than LeBron. He might be the GOAT by the end of this video, I'm saying. Not, not, not yet. Oh, yeah, by the way. There's been an insane lack of Hall of Fame inductees in this video. Like, a lot of players just aren't doing good. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, Kawhi ends up going to Denver, which is going to be, uh, he's teaming up with uh, John Wall. So that's a good duo. And then Kyrie is going to go back to Cleveland. 
and Cavaliers. And then somehow Ty Tyron, Childress, Paris, Dunleavy, and Robert Wise are all getting drafted ahead of Klay Thompson and Jimmy Butler. Make it make sense too, okay? It doesn't make no sense. 2012, the only notable foreign player that we have is a guy, actually two, Festus Azili. He's from, uh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think he's a foreign player. I think he's from here. Uh, he might be from like Congo. I'm not sure. The one I know for sure, Where's he at though? There he is, Evan Fournier out of France. I mean, he, he had a decent career, not bad. He's like like the definition of mid when it comes to NBA talent. Westbrook wins MVP pretty early to be honest, like what, four years in? Not bad. I mean, 25 uh, and nine assists, that's solid. Kawhi Leonard rookie of the year. Brooke Lopez, sixth man of the year. And LeBron has won so many DPOYs, but they don't matter. That's not Jeff T's brother, is it? Okay, look, finally, Toronto has made it as a four seed. Let's have LeBron actually do something meaningful, man. Let's get him his first ring right now. 3-1, yes, sir. Up against the Bulls. Dwayne Wade up against him, and it's a murder. 4-1. God dang. And the Hawks beat the Bulls 4-1. So it's Hawks and Thunder. It's crazy. Jay Rich, I guess Dwight Howard as well. And then a bunch of bots go all the way in the thunder with vince carter rodney stuckey it's just the, the random players man that are going all the way you love to see it switching things up and 2-1 hawks 2-2 two, two. i'm sensing the game seven nope hawks and six so Dwayne has another chip so does jay, jay rich w jason richardson one of the best dunkers ever if you, if you know you know and chris weber finally retires arguably the best power forward to date. Oh, I lied. No, he only has one MVP and one chip. Definitely not the best power forward. It's probably Tim Duncan currently. I thought he did way more. I'm surprised. And then Anthony Davis gets drafted to the team he was in real life, the New Orleans Hornets. So not much change there. Drummond to the Magic, Lillard to the 76ers, and Draymond to the Rockets. I feel like he's going to be so bad without... He's a, he's a system player, bro. Without Curry, he's, he's nothing. So... He'll probably last very short. And the fact that it's 2012 and there's been no sight of Kobe anywhere is, is really crazy. I mean, he's even down to an 89 overall. That's what you get for staying loyal to one franchise. You pick the wrong franchise to be loyal to. Now, 2012 has a good amount of, uh, you know, foreign players. A couple that might, you know, may be familiar with. Giannis Antetokounmpo, arguably the best ever when it's all said and done. Uh, him or Jokic, I would say, over Hakeem, to be honest. But Giannis, man, is that a hot take? I don't know. But he's from Greece. No longer. That means also the Nassis won't be in the league. Thank God. I'm just kidding. I love the Nassis, bro. He's like he's like my spirit animal type beat. And then Rudy Gobert out of France. You know him, of course. I guess uh, COVID wouldn't, wouldn't be a thing anymore since he's out the league. That alone is changing history dramatically. Daniel Tice out of Germany. Shout out to Germany. We got Facundo Campazzo out of uh, Argentina. Never heard of him. Oh, yeah. Dennis Scrotum. He's from Germany as well. Shout out to Dennis. Ultimate bag fumbler. This guy right here. D. Rose winning MVP in Dallas, man. So he got his rookie of the year goes to AD. Jim Flanders, okay, 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 who cares, who cares? Toronto third seed, if we do this entire video without LeBron winning a ring with no foreign competition, that would be insane. And wow, that's crazy. He lost to the Hawks. Is Dwayne Wade in the Bulls against Derrick Rose and the Mavericks? Yo, Chicago up against D Rose and Dwayne Wade, dang, sweeping Derrick Rose. That's tough, man. D Rose going out sad. And without Giannis and Rudy Gobert in this draft, Mel Kim goes first overall in 2013. So, not even CJ McCollum. You would think that, like, with the knowledge that, oh, McCollum became an all star player, let's just have, you know, make sure he goes as, as a top five pick. No, Mel Kim. Now, 2014 has Nikola Jokic. Now, it's, it's funny looking back at this. Aaron Gordon was a higher, you know, prospect than Jokic. Now he's uh, on that same team with Jokic being the star player in, in, in Denver. It's interesting how that how that panned out. But yeah, Jokic obviously out of Serbia. We have Joel Embiid. He is from Cameroon, I believe. Uh, so them two, they're out of here. You know, two MVP players gone. And then we have Mar uh, Andrew Wiggins out of Canada. He was actually the top pick, you know, crazy enough. And then we have uh, Dario Saric from Croatia. Clint Capella from Switzerland, which is dope. Shout out to Switzerland, bro. One of the most peaceful countries of all time. And then Bogdan Bogdanovic from Serbia. So a lot of international players now. Oh, and New Yusuf Nurkic. Can't forget about him from Bosnia. Yusuf Nurkic, man. I didn't know he was in the same draft class as Nikola. Just like in real life, KD wins MVP in 2014, but in Charlotte. So uh, he put in Charlotte on the map. You know, that's, that's dope. Oladipo with the Pistons. How many Rookie of the Years have the Pistons produced? And how many chips have we produced? Zero. Compared to Rookie of the Years is insane. I mean, we should be one of the best franchises ever. But that's not the case, unfortunately. Dwayne Wade, Curry, KD, LeBron, and Cousins. Yeah, man, Cousins, I feel like they did him dirty in the end of his career. I feel like he can still play today, real talk. 
Elson Brand is still kicking it, 90 overall. And Dwight Howard doing his thing, 88 overall in Atlanta. Okay, Charles the first seed. I don't know how Kevin Durant did that, but he took this trash lineup to a first seed. So if he has a chance to win a ring before LeBron, that would change the history of the NBA. And uh, currently, he's up 3-1 against them, and he is gonna advance up against Philly. How, how, what happens? What happens here? Oh, 3-2 Philly, and Philly advances against the Mavericks. So it's LaMarcus Aldridge, Sidney Stanley, Damian Lillard, who's not even one of the best players on the team, and Isaiah Thomas somehow, against Derrick Rose, Tim Tyrus Thomas, Ray Allen is still kicking it, 38 years old, but still one of the best players. Mavericks about to win a ring in 2014. No, Philly wins it. What? Damian Lillard finals MVP as an 81 overall. Bro, in his second year, he wins a chip in finals MVP. That's crazy. I thought Gordon Hayward, Derrick Rose, and Ray Allen would be able to beat Lillard and Aldridge, but no, these guys played together in Portland. That's right. They're always gonna be good together. And Iverson finally retires after 18 years pro. Looking at his career in 18 seasons, he got two finals MVPs, so two rings basically. That guy's better than real life for him. In the 2014 draft, missing like half of the good players in the draft class, uh, has Zach Levine going first to the Wolves, just like in real life, back on the Timberwolves. And then Aaron Gordon going to the Lakers this time around. Julius Randle going to Cleveland. So, yeah, not bad. Now, 2015, two of the top players in this draft class are both from an, uh, overseas, basically. Well, Carl Anthony Sounds, I believe he was born, I think he was born and raised here, but he has such strong ties to uh, the, the what's it, what is it, hold on. Dominican Republic, that's right. He is Dominican. So, uh, he's enough Dominican where you can notice it, you know, from his profile picture. So, he, he's out of here. And then, of course, Kristaps Porzingis from Latvia. So, two of the best players in the draft class, gone. But they still got Booker. And Booker's from Michigan, that's my guy. Bro, Paul George winning MVP is something that I would not have expected in 2015. Who won it in 2015? Uh, if my ball knowledge serves me correctly, it was... A, a man by the name of oh curry dumbass it was curry i forgot yeah it was curry he won he won mvp but yeah paul george winning it curry hasn't won it uh jr smith sixth man of the year yes sir jr swish lebron's won defensive player like what how many years straight now uh six of them six years straight he's won it don't matter though you haven't won anything important okay cool demarcus he's out day to day but we got curry rose pg and carmelo Carmelo has moved to the Pistons. Yes, sir. But somehow we're the seventh seed. Boston being the first seed. How's our friend Christopher doing? Is he still there? Yeah, he's been there the whole time with Zach Randolph. So hopefully now they could do something. I want to see everyone win a ring, man. Everyone get at least one ring. And Chris Paul versus LeBron. What's going to happen? 3-2 Celtics. And he, he eliminates them. And the Cavs eliminate him. So Carmelo is going to the finals against Westbrook and the Blazers. So really, it's not Carmelo, I lied, because I just told you he was on the Pistons. It's Kyrie Irving. His dream of leading a team by himself as the main guy to the finals, he did it. And the Blazers have Westbrook and Harden, both 90 overalls, and Corey Maggot and Andre Iguodala. So I could, I, I could see the Blazers sweeping them. Yep, and that's exactly, wait a minute. That, oh, hold on now. Yeah, in six, Westbrook finals MVP. Taking hard and shine, man. Here we go. Some players retired. About time. Uh, Marbury, Ray Allen, and Tim Duncan have all retired. They're definitely all Hall of Famers. Duncan won three MVPs, one chip. He might be the best power forward so far, but Sharif Abdurrahim, he won three MVPs, and I don't think he won a chip, though. So far, it's Duncan. And then Ray Allen with 11 All-Stars. Didn't do too much, to be honest. No chips. And Starberry. He won a championship, which is dope. 2015 draft, Alex Boyd and Brooke Burks go ahead of Devin Booker and D'Angelo Russell. Give me a break. Now, this 2016 draft class has some of the top players being international. Ben Simmons, the first overall pick. He's from Australia, man. Um, unfortunately, he fell off the face of the earth, man. I don't know what his issue is. Real talk is weird. Jamal Murray's from Canada. Sabonis, so as you guys know from earlier in the video, is from Lithuania, right? Yep, Lithuania. And then uh, Buddy Heald is from the Bahamas. Funny enough, he's from the Bahamas. And then the last guy we're looking for, we got, well, yeah, we got Juan Hernan Gomez from Spain. And then Pascal Siakam from Cameroon. Him and uh, Embiid from the same place. So some key players, gone. There we go. 
There's Curry's MVP. I think my cat just jumped off a cliff. Not a cliff, but like jumped off like a... It just sounded like something happened back there. I don't have a cliff in here. That's just weird. But yeah, I mean, I've been recording for three hours straight. Give me a break. Curry wins MVP is what I was saying. D. Russ, Rookie of the Year. J. I should probably check on him. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, he's fine. All right, Luther Mullen, most improved. And this is the All-NBA first team. LeBron is a fraud, dog. This is insane. There's no way he doesn't go to the finals once. Six seed, ain't no way LeBron wins zero rings. This is this is actually disgusting and pathetic. There we go. Conference finals against the Knicks. He better beat the Knicks. I don't care who's on the Knicks. Oh my God, dog. Knicks and Mavericks, Rajon Rondo, Harrison Barnes, and Max Bot, basically a bot. No way that Harrison Barnes and Rondo, no way those two guys took over and beat LeBron, Maggot, and then I guess Griffin got injured, but still, that's insane. With Derrick Rose, yeah, the Mavericks and Derrick Rose end up sweeping. Shout out to D Rose, man, but that's crazy. Everyone's having an amazing career except LeBron and Kobe. Like, like the Mount Rushmore, the people, like, they're not having a good career. Jordan had a great career, but LeBron and Kobe, no. As Ingram goes first to the Magic, and Jalen Brown goes to the Heat. Oh, yeah, and Shreve retired, by the way. So, uh, Shreve after Raheem, he got three MVPs and no chips. So, he'd probably be the second best power forward of this video. And Vince Carter did nothing. He just got all-stars, but really nothing. And just an update, Sharif Abdurrahim finished second all-time, by the way, which is insane. I never thought I'd say that, but yeah, second all-time in points. He played a couple more seasons, you never know. He could have been first, which would have been nuts. Kobe, he's still in the league on the Warriors. He could pass Jordan, you never know. And then uh, T-Mac is also still playing. So these two guys can pass. KG, I don't, I don't know. But I think someone by the end of this video might be able to pass Jordan's 37,000. But in 2017, the only person worth mentioning that's foreign is Lloyd Markkinen. He is from, uh, dude, he, he's from, I think, Finland when he just did like the military. So yeah, he's, he's foreign. And we got the Cavaliers back at it against the Mavericks. Hey, I love seeing Kyrie win. He's doing his thing, literally carrying this trash roster at Thaddeus Young and Eric Gordon, AKA, uh, he looks like, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, what's it, what's it called? Uh, um, dude, what's that dessert that people like you, like it's round. It's like a one, it's a popular dessert, a honeycomb. No, not a honeycomb. Dude, it's, he looks like, oh my God, not a Twinkie, not a Twinkie. What does he look like? Honey bun, honey bun. He looks like a honey bun. Is that what it, I, I think, I don't, I don't, what was the point of that, bro? I just, I don't know why he, he caught a stray. That was messed up. But anyway, uh, Mavericks go back to back sweeping us. So Derrick Rose, he's, he's having, hey man, back to back chips. He got an MVP. He's doing really good, man. And boom, KG and Kobe both retire. Okay. So, uh, let's see. They're both in the hall of fame. Yup. And Jay Rich, who, uh, funny enough, he has two chips. Kobe has none. KG has none either. So that's interesting how that goes. Did they break the record? No, Kobe and KG did not. They had, had almost the same amount of points. They retired together on the same team, by the way, in Golden State. It's kind of fruity. But T-Mac is still in it. He is still playing with the Clippers, so he could end up breaking. He'll probably end up with the most points. But yeah, the fact that Kobe had no MVPs, no finals appearances, you hate to see it for Kobe, man. I feel like LeBron's going to have the same thing. Dusty Galloway goes first over Jason Tatum. But I guess Tatum goes to the Lakers now instead of Lonzo Ball, who goes to the Pelicans. Okay, so 2018 has a fair share of foreign players. Luka, of course, arguably one of the best right now. He's from uh, Slovenia, right? Yeah, he's from Slovenia. Get him out of here. DeAndre Ayton is from the Bahamas, actually. So that's that's a fun fact if you didn't know. And then we have uh, Shea Gilgius from Canada. And then I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. No, you don't want to be. He is from, uh, he's probably from China. I think, right? Has to be. No, Japanese. Japanese. He's from Japan. And then this guy has to be foreign. I, I don't know who he is, but just that name, there's no way that's American. There's no way at all. Matter of fact, even, even this guy, there's no way he's he's American either. Same with this guy, man. Now, how he win rookie of the year with eight and eight? Or eight and seven. No way Tatum couldn't put up a better stat line than that, man. There's no way Tatum couldn't put up a better stat line than that. I guess 11 points isn't that much better. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, Kuzma had 15. I feel like Kuzma should have won Rookie of the Year. If anything, he put up good stats. Uh, John Collins, he, okay, no. I mean, still, yeah, the Pistons are getting some good picks, but man, we couldn't win a ring. Philly is first. Philly has Kevin Durant, Drew Holiday, and LaMarcus Aldridge. Stack team. Chris Paul still being the best player is really wild. It really is. LeBron, he's putting up amazing numbers, but guess what? Raptors are third seed. Do you think they're going to go all the way? What do you think, man? Comment down below. What do you think? No. <laughs> Brooklyn beats them. Pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. 
76ers and Mavericks, and then will they win again? Derek Rose, man, having an insane career. He might retire as the GOAT, dog. Three chips already? He three-peated. <laughs> Only Jordan has done that in this in this video so far. There we go. T-Mac retires. So now we can see if he passed him. No way. He couldn't pass him. 800 points short. That sucks. Damn. And with the 2018 draft, Jaron Jackson Jr., Defensive Player of the Year, goes first. I feel like the Magic got the first overall pick at least 10 times in this video. Trey Young goes second to the Thunder, so he stays in Oklahoma where he played in college. That's dope. And then Mo Bamba in LA. So now when it comes to the 2019 draft, the only foreign players that I see off the bat is RJ Barrett from Canada and then Roy Hachimura from Japan. That's it though. Oh yeah, and Gugu Gaga from, uh, I don't know where he's from. He looks like he's Middle Eastern. Okay, so by the way, uh, the year is 2023. I fast forward and DeMarcus Cousins is MVP. Usually it's Luka, but because Luka's gone, Giannis is gone, you know, Jokic is gone. It's DeMarcus Cousins. He's not even in the league, bro. That's crazy. But yeah, his first MVP, 13 years in the game, is kind of crazy. Uh, he did it, though. Paolo, Rookie of the Year in, in, in LA. And that's a wrap. So Trey Young, De'Aaron Fox, Zion, KD, and DeMarcus. DeMarcus has been relevant for a minute. I'm not going to lie. He might be one of the best centers in this video. Top, top, top five, maybe, possibly. But let's see how this last finals goes, this last playoff run. Uh, it's crazy. LeBron has not made it, not once. Uh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't sneeze. Pistons Nuggets, come on, Pistons game. Whoa. We get swept. John Wall, Finals MVP. He's also not in the league, by the way. But yeah, Dwight retires. Uh, yeah, so Dwight was actually really solid. Two chips, no MVPs, but in 18 years, he did his thing. But if we try to find LeBron James, he's all the way down here to 88 overall at age 38. He played in Toronto his entire career, 18 All-Stars, no MVPs, no championships, in like five playoff appearances, which is insane. And uh, yeah, here's season averages, uh, you know, 23 points a game. It's insane that him and Kobe did nothing. Meanwhile, Derrick Rose, he did his thing. Three championships and an MVP. Even Curry only got one MVP and then Westbrook with one championship, one MVP. Literally, Jordan is the only player that really dominated. If we look at, uh, how's Kevin Durant doing? He got four MVPs, so he might be the best small forward with four MVPs and one championship, you know, in Philly, which is dope. But insane, insane outcome when you get rid of all the foreign players. Very underwhelming, very underwhelming. If we see the records uh, history book, Carmelo ends up being number one, the best score in NBA history. And actually, he won a championship. So yeah, almost 40,000 points, and he's, he broke the record by far. The most three-pointers made is not Curry, it's Paul Pierce. Granted, Curry has a couple more years left. But yeah, Paul Pierce was dotting him. The power forward himself, Sharif Abdurrahim with 4,000 plus, is also wild. Kevin Garnett finishes top three with most rebounds. And then uh, assist-wise, Chris Paul, he's top three. And then blocks, KG, Dave Robinson, Tim Duncan, they're top three. KG might be the best power forward stats-wise, and LeBron with the most steals. So yeah, that's what would happen if no foreign players were allowed in the NBA. Definitely an interesting simulation. If you've been all the way here, comment down below. Uh, comment down below, do or don't lose. You know, simple.